Hi, this is Jim Mooney from Prominent Fluid Controls. We're going to review in this video programming of a control version pump. Here we have a gamma L pump, but the programming is very similar for our sigma control versions as well. Uh, here we see that the pump is in the manual mode, the stop button is pressed, and the frequency is set to 180 strokes per minute. If we scroll through with the I key, we can display different information. Uh, this pump is equipped with a stroke counter for each time the pump strokes. It increments this number by one. Uh, this is the percentage of our stroke length. It's indicating what the knob is set to. Again, we're back to the frequency display. So depending on what functions, which options are available on your pump, that I key is different information. It will not interrupt the operating mode of the pump. For programming the pump, for setting up, there are a couple of different operating modes of operation. We'll have to select the mode of operation and then we have to verify settings in that mode of operation to be sure that they agree with how we want to operate our pump. Again, depending on the options and functions of this particular model. So if we want to set the operating mode, we have to press and hold the P key for about three seconds and a word is going to flash on the front of the pump. Whatever's flashing, we can scroll or change with the up or down arrow buttons. And we want to press those up or down arrow buttons, in this case, until the word mode starts to flash. Once we have mode flashing, we press the P key again once quickly. Mode comes on solid, and the mode of operation that we are about to enter will flash above. So again, whatever is flashing, we can change with the up or down arrow buttons. And for this example, we might switch to the analog mode of operation. So I want analog to be flashing. The next time I press the P key, now the pump is in the analog mode, the stop key is pressed, and again, our frequency is displayed. Now that we're in the analog mode of operation, we want to be sure that we're set to the correct range. Uh, typically, we want that range to be 4 to 20 milliamps. That means that the pump will, in this case, for our gamma L pump, 4 milliamps will stop the pump, and 12 milliamps will be 50%, 20 milliamps will be 100% stroke rate. That's what we're adjusting with the analog input. And the maximum frequency, or the 20 milliamp setting in the analog mode on this pump, would be 180 strokes per minute. So to be sure that it's set to 4 to 20, I press and hold the P key. Now I want that menu to be the set menu. So I hit, again, the up or down arrow button until I see the word set flashing. I press the P key again once quickly. Now I want to scroll to the analog settings. It's a form of the word analog. I press the P key again. Now I have the choices of 4 to 20, 0 to 20 on this pump, and I want to select 4 to 20 milliamps. So once I press the P key, now I'm back to my original display. Again, I'm in the analog mode. The stop key is pressed, and frequency is being displayed. So I press the start and stop button. We'll see that stop goes away. And I have my signal wired into the pump. I'm at 4 milliamps. If I adjust that signal to 12 milliamps, I'm going to go to 50% stroke rate which is 90 strokes per minute with this pump. And if I adjust it to 20 milliamps, I'm going to go to the maximum speed of the pump, which is 180 strokes per minute with the gamma L pump. If we have one of the sigma pumps, that frequency, that maximum frequency might be different depending on the gear ratio of the pump that we have selected. I turn back to 12 milliamps, and I go back to 90. 4 milliamps and the pump stops, goes to zero strokes per minute. Now I can actually display that. As I mentioned previously, I can display 
with the I key, different information. Now it says external, which means that the pump will operate from an external signal. And I can actually display the current signal coming into the pump. So here I have four milliamps. You see milliamps on the right-hand side of the display. And as I change that up to 12 milliamps, again, my pump would be running at 90 strokes per minute. And as I go to 20 milliamps, the display changes corresponding to that signal coming through the pump. So if I want to switch back to the manual mode of operation, again, I press the, hold the P key. Of course, my key bounced on me. Press and hold the P key. Now I want to go to the mode menu. I press the P key once quickly. The mode that I'm about to enter will flash above. Hit the up arrow to manual and press the P key again. Now I can determine that frequency with my up or down arrow button. Another mode of operation might be the contact. So if I press and hold the P key until mode flashes, I press the P key once quickly, hit the up arrow to contact, press the P key. Now when we see frequency in the contact mode, that means that's the maximum frequency of the pump. So if our pulses come in at the maximum rate of this particular pump, 180 strokes per minute, the pump can do that. If I set that lower, if the contacts come into the pump still at 180 strokes per minute or 180 pulses per minute or contacts per minute, the pump cannot exceed 168 strokes in that one minute's time. So I might change the operating mode to batch on this pump. Um, that is another form of the contact where we run a batch in and we'll talk about that on another video.